Hello, welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Aura Martirosian and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Excel to Sage from scratch. So what's Excel to Sage? Well, it's a very powerful import utility which allows you to import things into Sage from external systems. Anything from an EPOS system or an internet website shopping cart, external billing systems, um, things like uh, the iPad order taking application called Handshake, uh, linking it to EDI networks, pretty much anything really. Uh, the data can be in any format, anything from an Excel spreadsheet to a common CSV file or an XML file uh, or from other databases like MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server. It deals with uh, over 25-30 transactions so pretty much anything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis so not just customers and suppliers but sales orders, purchase orders, product invoices, product credits, service invoices um, bank transactions, um, nominal journals, uh, as well as the very powerful use of projects and uh, funds and donations in the charity sector. Uh, it can also bring in price lists which is uh, invaluable for people who've got lots of products and change their prices regularly. So what, what do you need to do? Well, it's uh, very simple really, three simple steps. First thing you need to do is prepare Sage. By default, uh, Sage doesn't allow other things to talk to it. So what you have to do is uh, go into Tools, Activate, Enable Third Party Integration in order for it to be able to talk to third party software like Excel to Sage. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, data gets imported as a validated user. So you need to set up a user in Sage and that user is called Connector with a password as p at sswrd as shown there with full access rights. Having done that, Sage is then ready to uh, receive data. So all you do is you go to the Excel to Sage website, you download the free trial, and uh, it's a fully functioning 30-day trial, so you can uh, use it to test all the different imports. Um, now, before you install it, you need to log onto your PC as administrator, um, and that's very important uh, so that uh, it can uh, have access to uh, the system for the installation routines. And having done that, you can then just install it and test it. So the things to, to be aware of is uh, the third-party integration code isn't something that Sage give you by default, so you have to phone them up. Uh, so you phone up the number on the screen there. Uh, they give you a completely new serial number and activation code. And after you apply it, uh, when you go to help about, you find that the SDO says yes, uh, whereas previously would have said SDO no. As far as the uh, Excel to Sage website is concerned, uh, you just go to the free trial area, uh, fill in the information it's asked for, which is very important because that's the licensing um, details that will be registered onto your account. Uh, and uh, when your 30-day 30, 30 trial is over, if you decide to purchase it, you just go to the shop, you purchase your license, and the code is just emailed to you and you're ready to go. Very simple. So, let's have a look at this thing. Uh, uh, in action. Um, having filled that in of course you uh, you get this screen here um, and what you need to do is download the second one which is the uh, multi version uh, of the product so it caters for all the Sage 50 systems from Sage 2010 to Sage 2014 uh, and all you do is you just save that onto your desktop. So let's see this thing uh, being installed from scratch. So first of all I'll go into Sage and uh, this is my default Sage company so the first thing I need to do is do third-party integration. Now I've done this on here already, but all you do is you go to Tools, Activation, Enable Third-Party Integration, and you need to do this on every machine that you install Excel to Sage on, and it tells you to phone up that number, and you'll get a serial number and activation code. Having done that, when you go into Help About, down here it says SDO Yes. So that part is now done. Uh, the final thing you need to do is just create the user. So you go to settings access right and you set up the connector user as a full access user. And that's it. That's now sorted. Okay, so if I go to the customer list, uh, we're going to be importing some updates here and changing phone numbers. So let's minimize that for a second. And I'll now go and uh, install the software. And here it is. I've just put it onto the desktop. I'll just press that and I'll just run it. There it goes and uh, say next on the first screen it then asks you where you want the uh, shortcuts to be placed uh, read the license agreement uh, by default it puts it into Excel to Sage Connector which is our pre refer uh, 
preferred uh, location so leave that as it is and then just press install and what it will do is it will just go and uh, create what it needs to produce files and uh, when it's finished there will be two extra icons down here one to the Excel workbook which you basically fill in to import stuff into Sage and uh, the second one is the actual connector called the Excel to Sage 50 connector uh, and that's the one that does all the work I won't bother reading the uh, thing and that's it that's finished close that off so let's have a look at the spreadsheet first and uh, for every one of the imports there's a tab at the bottom here so that's the one for the customers that's the one for the addresses that's the one for the sales invoices and so on and what you'll note is that some of them are red these are the mandatory fields and some of them are yellow so these are the optional fields as Sage would see it so in this particular example I've got customers red IT1 and red IT2 with those particular addresses and let's say these guys have just changed their phone number something like that nice and simple all you do is you fill this in you save it and uh, you then just uh, uh, close the spreadsheet down and uh, you move on to the application so let's have a look at the application uh, the application itself then allows you to um, uh, activate which version of the software you're using whether you're using 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 and the first time you go in it'll ask you for that so you then basically decide on that and oh hang on, let me just close that off that's the important thing there you go and uh, I'll start the connector off and the first time in it says well you haven't told me which version of Sage you're using now in this particular case I'm using version 2012 so it says please select the Sage version on the configuration tab and then save config so I'll say OK to that. 2012. Save the configuration. Disconnect and exit. Right. So that's now set for 2012. All I now do is open that up and it knows which version of Sage it is. But I haven't told it which companies I might want to import into. So I now go into company control. I read the Sage companies and it goes off. And these are all the companies that I have on my system. I could have keyed these in, but that's just a quick way of doing it. And for this example, I'm going to be importing into the Red IT Excel to Sage EDI test system. I choose that as the default, which is fine. And uh, here I've also got a log tab, which keeps details of what's coming in. So I'll just start a new one there. Go back to my single company and connect to Sage. And there we are. I've now connected to the Red IT E2S Sage company. And all I do is press one button, customers. And all it does is it goes and has a look at the Excel spreadsheet. There you go. It's finished it. And in the log file, I've got details of what was updated. So Red IT1 was updated. So let's go and check that. So I'll disconnect from there. Go back into Sage. Now, you will note here that nothing's changed. That's because Sage doesn't refresh automatically. So what you have to do is hit that button there, the magnifying glass, and there you go. Telephone numbers change, which is what we changed on the spreadsheet. Very, very simple. And that's it. That's a fully working Excel Sage system already set up, ready for use. So, in summary, Excel to Sage is very quick and cost effective, very easy to use, quick to set up, can be easily changed, and then lots and lots of different add ons. Uh, one of our most popular add ons is something called File Mapper. So, if you can't produce, if your, your system can't produce the Excel spreadsheets in the format that we require for Excel to Sage, then the file mapper sits between your system and ours and it will take feeds from any external system and convert them into uh, the format that's required for Excel to Sage to import into Sage. And above all it just makes processing a lot more efficient. Thank you very much for your time and interest in Excel to Sage. Uh, please feel free to go to the Excel to Sage website for the latest information and developments in the product functionality. And if you have any questions or any problems, please feel free to drop uh, an email to support at exceltosage.co.uk, who will be more than happy to uh, help you uh, set up the system and uh, get started. Thank you.